Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So one of the main points I mentioned in my video was how the marketing and promotion of the book was causing a lot of confusion. And I really didn't plan on talking about it until I came across this video. He also pointed out how this book is planned to be volume one of an entire series. And as you can see, he compared that to Tafsir ibn Kathir. To paraphrase, he said something along the lines of, you know, Tafsir ibn Kathir is 10 volumes. If you just owned one volume of Tafsir ibn Kathir, no one would have an issue with that. But I feel like this is a really terrible argument because clearly Tafsir ibn Kathir is labeled to be 10 volumes. It's also labeled a Tafsir. You understand exactly what you're getting. If you owned volume three of Tafsir ibn Kathir, people would understand it's only volume three, it's incomplete. If they did something as simple as add volume one to the title, then every single person who read the title would understand, oh, this is volume one in a series. And when it comes to a topic as important as the Quran, it's crucial that this subject not be misrepresented or cause confusion. Take this hadith, for example. Anas reported that when Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, was in the company of one of his wives, a person happened to pass by them. He called him and when he came, he said to him, Oh, so-and-so, she was my wife, such and such. Thereupon he said, Allah's messenger, if I were to doubt at all, I would have entertained no doubt about you at least. Thereupon Allah's messenger, والسلام, said, Verily, shaitan circulates in the body like blood. So from the benefits of this hadith is we understand that shaitan is going to try to mislead us. He's going to try to make us go astray. And another benefit is that if we can... We should definitely try to clarify things to avoid any sort of false suspicion or confusion. So this shouldn't be seen as some sort of personal vendetta against Mufti Mink, but rather we can see, based on the reaction to this book, how much people are confused and it needs to be clarified. And I think it's very important to acknowledge and admit that much of the confusion is due to the way that this book was marketed and promoted. And Allah knows best. May Allah guide all of us. Amin.